All right, hello my fellow investors, Sissy Intelligent Investor here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how you can actually create wealth and become a millionaire one day. But before we start the video, guys, use the link in the description down below to sign up with Acorns. Now, once you sign up with Acorns, um, you're gonna be entered to win a free stock, and that stock is Coca-Cola. So stay tuned for that, and I'll be letting you know if you win the free stock. Now, also, once we hit 6,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing another stock giveaway, and that stock is Apple. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, and you'll be notified when this video comes out. All right, so how can you become wealthy and how can you become a millionaire? Now, this will be the first video of a series that I'm doing, okay? I'm going to be explaining step-by-step -step in each video on how you can create wealth, okay? And possibly become a millionaire. Now, is that a sure thing? I mean, it can be. Okay, I'm not telling you that I'm going to make you a millionaire. I'm not telling you that I'm going to make you wealthy. Okay, because I can't. And that's something I have to say. I cannot do it. But I can give you the tools and the information that can help you make yourself a millionaire. Okay, because again, that's the big thing I want you guys to understand that no one, no one can make you a millionaire. No one can make you wealthy. Okay, the only one that can do that is yourself. Okay, and the way to start that is to build mentality. And this is what I'm going to be talking about in this video, building mentality. Okay. And honestly, this is the first key step to do that. If you can't do that, then you cannot take the next steps. Okay, so this is a real important video. All right. So the thing I want to start to say is that um, there is a difference between a millionaire and wealthy. Wealthy is people that have over a hundred thousand dollars, which is considered rich. Um, and millionaire is being a millionaire. Okay. So that's the difference. If you guys want to know, um, wealth is having a hundred thousand dollars and millionaire is millionaire. Okay. Just to let you guys know that. All right. So, um, how can you do that? Okay. The main thing is to build mentality. How do you build mentality? By taking changes in your life, okay? The first thing you have to do is have patience. The thing is patience with yourself. Don't think this is going to happen overnight. Don't think this is going to happen in a year, maybe not five years, maybe not 10 years, but it, it can happen, okay? That's the thing you have to know. If it happens between 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years and you become that, then that's your goal, okay? Not everybody can do it in the same time. And that's the thing you have to know. Everybody is financially different. But I'm telling you guys that you don't have to make a six-figure income to become a millionaire. I have a lot of friends that now I know that make under $70,000 that have become millionaires, okay? And I'm going to be explaining in these videos how that happens. So I hope you guys get this information, take it to heart, and make some life changes. But like, let's say... For me, I've read a lot of books. If you guys don't like reading books, then use Audible. I'm not sponsored by Audible. I'm just telling you, I actually get free stuff from Audible. How do I do this? This is a good book. So it's Get Rich with Dividends by Mark Lichtenfeld. It's a great book. You can listen to it. The way I do it is I sign up with, um, with Audible. They gave me free credits. I use the free credits. I cancel it. And I still keep the book. Then I wait for them to do another offer of free credits. I get the free credits and I keep doing it like that. I don't have a subscription. Okay. I like saving money. And this is the way I save money. I just wait for the free credits and I keep getting my books. But Get Rich With Dividends is a great book that I want you guys to read. The Intelligent Investor as well. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, there's a lot of books out there that I think you guys should read. They will help you out so much. And that's the thing you have to do yourself. Okay, get yourself some knowledge. That is a huge part. If you guys are too lazy to do that, then you guys are not going to succeed, okay? Like I said, no government, no person, no guru, nobody's going to make you money. I'm not here trying to be a guru and say, hey, guys, give me all this money so I can make that more money. You get me? And I see a lot of those fake people out there with the drop shipping, Amazon drop shipping. That is fake stuff, guys. Nobody really makes money from drop shipping. I've known 32 people that have done drop shipping. Only one person is making decent money and they're busting their butts off for that. And 
now they're actually slowly making less. So drop shipping is a bunch of BS. And I'm telling you, people pay so much for that and they make no money. All these things that are these fake gurus that are saying, hey, we'll make you this much money. We'll make you millionaires. We'll make you a six-figure income every month. That is a bunch of BS, okay? If it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. So that's why I'm doing this for you guys. It's something free. It's something that's on YouTube. I don't get any monetization for it. I don't get any of it. So it's just me giving you information. This is what actual wealthy people do. They help other people succeed. They don't charge you for it. They're not supposed to charge you for it. Okay, the only thing I say is, hey, sign up with Acorn and like that, you know, you help yourself and you help me out a little bit. It doesn't really do anything. Okay, but it's a platform that you can use that you can invest in. So it doesn't do much. Okay, I'm not here telling you, hey, sign up with my course and give me thousands of dollars for it. Like, I don't do that. I think that's a bunch of BS and you guys shouldn't do that. You're just wasting your money. All right. So, again, like I said, building mentality is a key thing. That's the thing you guys have to understand. You have to be patient. Don't think that you guys are going to join in something and make a million dollars overnight or in a month or in two months or any of that stuff because it's not going to happen unless you make a great income and you don't have too many bills to pay and all that stuff, then you can easily do it. But if you don't, if you're struggling and you're trying to get a stable life, you have to change your mentality, okay? And the first key thing to do that is having patience getting knowledge, okay? Read books or listen to audiobooks. Get that information in your head and learn because like I said, my information that I give you personally is not going to make you wealthy, okay? Um, for me, people have told me, how do you make money? Okay, like what do you do? For me, I have my secrets, okay? I invest a certain way that makes me a lot of money, okay? I am not giving that information out I did learn it as a fund manager, but I'm not giving out. I don't post it on YouTube. People that post a lot of their secrets on YouTube, they're not really secrets because they're things that everybody knows. For me, I have some secrets that I know, a system that I built that makes me money. Why am I not telling you guys? Because if I spread it out, everybody's going to be using it and it's not going to work. So... You know, I I know my methods. They're just things I can't give away. They're my secrets. As a fund manager, I use them and it's still working for me. So I use them and I don't give it away because it's something that I worked hard for. And I'm not going to share that one because, again, then it's not going to work if everybody knows it. <clears throat> so, I mean, to build that, guys, I want you guys to build that mentality to get there. Okay. To build your own systems that can work for you. And people say, well, hey, I'm disadvantaged. I don't have money, blah, blah, blah. For me, guys, uh, if you know my story, I grew up in the ghetto. Okay. I, I'm part of a minority group. Uh, and, you know, I, I never had privileges. You get me? Like I said, I grew up in the deep ghetto. I was gang related and stuff for a while. I mean, I went to not one of the greatest high schools, all that stuff, you know? I mean, my high schools were full of gangs and stuff like that. And it's like, I mean, I didn't grow up the best life. And I was always told, hey, you're not going to amount to anything. Why do you even try? Um, you know, I was always put down. And I was like, you're never going to succeed, you know, just get a job at like McDonald's or, you know, one of those cheap places and work yourself up, you know, try to become a manager. And that's the best you'll ever do. And I kind of believed it for a while, but then I was like, no, I mean, that's stupid. That makes no sense. So, I mean, we had a small graduating class. I was one of the few people in my high school that graduated, went to college. I did not use my college degree for my, like any of my jobs, um, but I eventually created wealth for myself and I didn't listen. I pushed hard and I realized that I was fed a bunch of BS. Anybody here in the U.S. can succeed, even outside of the U.S., Okay. But mainly here in the U.S., if it doesn't matter what kind of lifestyle you have, you can succeed. And I'm a good example of that. Um, I never looked back. A lot of my friends, you know, tried to put me down. They said that I'm just wasting my time and my money. And I didn't listen. I did my own thing. And I am wealthy because of it. Okay. And I made a lot of money because I was a patient person. I've gained myself knowledge. And... Uh, again, patience was the biggest thing. 
You know, I invested into Tesla and I invested into Apple back when they were really cheap before they did their stock splits. And I waited it out. I was like, I mean, I think they're going to do good. I mean, the numbers are looking good. The products are looking good. People are getting obsessed with Apple. And they're just buying all their products, even though sometimes they're not that great. And I saw that trend. Tesla, I'm just like, I'm going to buy into it. It's an electric battery car, I think. You know, people are going to like that one day. So I kept it. And they blew up for me. And they created my in- my huge income. I sold out of some of that stock and invested in two other ones. And I mean, I have a huge portfolio because of it. So my patience paid off. But it was because I had that knowledge knowing that these companies can become something big. I mean, I'm doing the same thing with ACIC, EXPC, and CCIV. They have potential. Mainly ACIC and EXPC. They both have a lot of potential where they can become something really big in the future. And I see that. I've done my research. And that's the thing you guys have to learn how to do. Do that yourself. Find those yourself. See the numbers. See the potential. See all this. And learn how to catch all this. Because I'm not going to catch everything. And you guys possibly can. But you guys have to give yourself that knowledge. And that's the best thing you can do. That's the best investment you can do for yourself. Is give yourself that knowledge. Okay? And the thing I have to say is that you don't have to go to college for that. Um, If you don't want to go to college. If you're not graduating for college. If you want to be an investor. The best thing you can do is give yourself that information. There's so much free information, online free courses in the internet that you guys can take. Like I said, for me, honestly, college was the worst investment in my life. And again, I got my PhD, all that stuff. But for me, it was a waste of money. I'm not using that degree. All my knowledge came from the internet and from mentors. And I do believe that my college degree was useless. Okay, that it was a waste. And if I wouldn't, if I would have like, had the opportunity of going back in time and not go to college, that would have been amazing. I would have been much wealthier because I could have used that money in different ways. Okay, and that's the thing I'm telling you guys. Not everybody has to have a college degree or have this great job to become wealthy. Like I said, most people that I know that are millionaires make less than a six-figure income. They don't make more than $70,000 a year. Okay, and I will be telling you how they did it. Okay, but I mean, that's most of the things that I wanted to talk about today, guys. Read a book, make sure you get that knowledge, make sure you're investing in yourself, giving yourself the time to actually learn these things, and you will become wealthy. Okay, minimum, you will become wealthy. Becoming a millionaire is very, very possible if you guys do the right things. Okay. So this is all I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. If you guys did like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'll be doing this hopefully daily, but I'll be putting a playlist of this. Um, and just check out the playlist. Um, this is the first video. And hopefully you guys could run through them again, get all this information in, um, improve yourselves, gain yourself the knowledge so you can try to become wealthy and eventually become millionaires. And don't think that because, you know, you have a crappy job or, you know, you feel like you can't get anywhere in life, you can, okay? You can always become something. So stay motivated, stay positive, and no matter what, guys, just start investing, start doing something so you can become wealthy. Because, like I said, I've known people that have been homeless that have become millionaires, okay? And it's because they've changed their mentality, And that's what I want you guys to do. Anybody could become successful. Nobody is stopping you. The only one that is stopping you is yourself. Surround yourself with intelligent, great, positive, successful people. And stop being around those people that are pushing you down. That are not helping you in any way in your life. And are not helping you feed your mind. So that's the key part, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.